to Microeconomics Econ 201. This is a video that will show you how to get started in the class and give you some tips on doing well throughout the term. So my name is Darren Bell. I'm the instructor for the course. I have the Blackboard site for the course up right now. So one of the, the first pages that you'll find is the Start Here page. On the Start Here page you'll find this video which I'm sure you've already found. There's also an announcement that you can see on the Start Here page, a welcome announcement that you can read. It has a lot of good information and helps outline the requirements of the course. And then there's also a link at the bottom of the Start Here page to the textbook. So one of the unique things about this course is that it uses an open educational resource textbook, which basically means it's a free online textbook. We use the uh, micro econ textbook from OpenStax. And so that's something new and, and something that's, I think, kind of cool and, and good about this course. Okay, going back up to the top, we're looking over to the left, to the blue buttons on the left. Start here, here menu is on top. The next one down is announcements. Every week well, there will be a new announcement that will kind of kind of give you a clue of what's going on that week, what's due that week, just to keep track and keep tabs. Okay. Under announcements, here's the course syllabus. You can open the syllabus. It has all of my information on it. Feel free, anytime you ever have any questions or concerns, email me, call me, uh, come to my office, whatever you need to do to get a hold of me. And I will, uh, the expectation now is I will respond as quickly as possible. So uh, definitely within 24 hours during a business, uh, during uh, Monday through Friday, if it's late on Friday or on a weekend, I'll probably get back to you that next Monday. Uh, under the syllabus is the course schedule. The course schedule for this course is it's on an 11 week schedule. So we have three exams in this course and, uh, the, and we have 10 chapters that we're gonna be covering. So the first exam is gonna have four chapters uh, that are that's tested on the exam. The second exam will only have two chapters. And then the third exam will have four chapters. The exams are all gonna be pretty similar and we'll talk about that. There's gonna be prep uh, questions that you can take as you go throughout the exam. And uh, there's also, all, of course, all of the coursework leading up to the exam will prep you for the exam as well. So let's go ahead and go into unit A. So there's really three units or three main uh, sections of this course. They match up with the three exams, right? So unit A, everything's gonna be uh, tested in exam one, unit B, exam two, unit uh, C, exam three. Okay, so, so here's kind of how it's laid out by chapter in that uh, unit A uh, folder. What you're gonna find within the chapters, you're gonna find discussion links, you're gonna find chapter videos, and you're gonna find uh, workout problem links as well. So there's going to be a discussion board that you're gonna need to complete every week, so one a week. Uh, the first one is just an intro, who are you, get to know maybe some of, the, some of your classmates, and uh, from then on we're gonna talk about econ things through the discussion board. Okay, so the chapter videos are there for you. For the live class, I'm gonna post all the lecture videos and really the idea is we're gonna be doing the link in green here, the workout problems in class, okay, for the live students. And you're going to hopefully get all the lectures through videos before class starts and in prepping for the discussion board and prepping for the workout problems we're gonna do in class, you're gonna to need to watch the, uh, the lecture videos. The online students, it's a little different. I'm actually going to be posting the workout problem videos uh, online to help you get through the workout problems and help you learn because the workout problems are gonna be revisited, of course, on the examinations. So we would need to make sure that you get through the workout problems and understand how to do them correctly and what if the situation changes a little bit, the numbers, uh, some of the basic information in the workout problems, are you still gonna be able to understand it and work it out? 
Okay, so that's basically a chapter. There's going to be, uh, for the most part, a chapter a week. Keep the schedule close so you can understand, okay, what's due every week. There's going to be workout problem, one workout problem, one discussion board due every week. Uh, in week three, I believe, there's going to be two workout problems due, but we'll cover that and there should be plenty of time and, and resources for you to get that done as well. There is a term project that we have this term, and that is centered around blogs. So basically it's a it's kind of like an essay, I guess you could say. In this case, we're doing it online in the Blackboard situation, so it's the blog tool that we're using. And there are some instructions within the blog posts themselves on how to do the blogs, but the main idea for the blogs, or the term project, is to come up with a major decision that you've had to make in your life dealing with economics. Something you had to buy, uh, a, a trade-off that you had to make. Should I work or should I go to school? Those type of things, okay? So you're gonna come up with a big decision. That will be your first blog. You're gonna, you're gonna write about that big decision. Then the other three blogs in the term are gonna be follow-ups to that big decision. So it's going to be a continuation of that decision related to supply and demand, related to elasticity and utility, uh, related to different types of market structures. That's kind of how it's set up. So as we get going through the term and cover those topics, you'll have lots of information to be able to say, okay, I see how my big decision was related to supply and demand or related to the trade-offs and and utility, elasticity, all these economic concepts we're gonna cover in the term. So that's, that's basically it. Uh, if there's anything that you need, I am here for you. Feel free to send me an email, call me, come in during office hours, or you can set up a virtual office hour as well if you're an online student and you wanna meet and work through some things, we can do that online. Uh, just, we just need to set up a time and we can, we can get that done. Welcome to the class. It's good to have you. Have a good day. Bye.